everybody, it's Mike Young, lifestyle nutritionist with aplantbaseddiet.org. Welcome to chapter 143 of my book, 150, no, not 100, my book is not titled 150, it's called Live to 150. We want to give you 150 amazing years of not what you think it is, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and read the beginning of the book. It's not what you think it is, it's fun, it's enjoyable, it's a life worth living. And I want to focus here on iodine, that's the focus of this chapter. It's something that, you know, maybe something that folks miss when they adopt this lifestyle. And that's why I want to do a, a quick chapter on just iodine itself. Some of the major things that people like, if you, you know, in order to know if you're deficient in something, you need to get a blood test. It's the only way to, the only way to do it, really. Otherwise, you're just guessing. And the major things that people might be deficient of with this lifestyle, because you could do it wrong, you could do anything wrong, is vitamin D, vitamin B12, and iodine. All right, now vitamin D, we, we have several chapters on the sun. That's the preferred way to get it. Do not take supplements because supplements cause cancer. Vitamin B12, you got to take a supplement. That's the only thing. Just take the B12. Don't take too much. Don't take too little. And we have a chapter on B12. So go back and look at that. Chapter on B12, chapter on vitamin D and the sun. Anything, there's a couple chapters on the sun. And then this one's on iodine. Iodine is the other thing. Don't say, oh, Mike, well, I got to have salt. Well, you told me not to have salt. And salt is iodine. No, it doesn't. They add iodine to that, to the rocks. Go back to my chapter on salt, all right? To learn why you shouldn't have salt. There's so many reasons why you should never have crushed rocks or dump them into your body, which is basically sprinkling salt. That's antiquated, right? That's the time when there was no refrigeration or freezing. You had to preserve foods and that's how they did it. Don't live in the past. This is 2022 and beyond. We don't need that stuff anymore. And it's not the same as the iodine of, of the sodium in the plants. Now, iodine just fortified. They, fort they tend to fortify salt with iodine, I guess, because you use a lot of salt and you shouldn't. So that means you might be deficient in iodine. You shouldn't get the fortified version anyway, because it's the same thing as taking a supplement. We don't want you to do that. So how do you get it? Mike, how do you get it? Well, two ways. Now, one way I screwed up on recently, it is sea moss. And I didn't prepare the sea moss. I just kind of stuck it in smoothie. I heard that uh, apparently... Um, it's the new thing now is to get sea moss in smoothies and the Kardashians are doing it. Kim Kardashian, I guess. I don't even watch TV. I've heard the name before. I'm sure you guys probably know who it is. But I just stuck it in there and didn't process it. You have to process it a little bit. I'm not really into stuff in the sea because the ocean, the, all the waste goes into the waters there or they do it in farms and they put chemicals in it. It's got to be organic, right? But you can process it. My wife has been doing that now recently, Denise. And the thing is with the iodine, if you don't process it, it is massively full of sodium. And I just got this blast of sodium like never before. And I, I, I still remember that. It was bad. I did a video on channel two. <laughs> don't do that. You've got to rinse it and soak it and do all these other things. It takes like a day to process it before it's ready. And it only lasts for three days or something like that. So you got to really plan out with that. I haven't done that. I am not eating fully raw. Like I said, I am cooking some foods. So I have been having some potatoes in the air fryer. That's what I've been doing. Potatoes are a good source of iodine naturally. Same with sea moss. It's natural. They're not adding it to it. It's just there. And that's the way you want to get it from the plants and the condition that it's in uh, without being actually a supplement. So let me know which way you prefer in below. But I just eat, just eat at least a potato a day approximately. Okay. And you will get the iodine that your body needs. There's other methods too. And this is what the internet's for to search up sources of iodine. You'll find one you like. And if you like one better, let me know in the comments as well. So let's see, preparing potatoes, sea moss, iodine. Yeah, and remember, the salt, the salt version, right, in the salt shaker, I don't care if it's pink Himalayan salt or sea salt or whatever it is, if it's got iodine, they added it to it. They've added the stuff in there, and we don't want that. It's, it's the same thing as taking a supplement, and you're getting this rock sodium, which is not good for the body. The body doesn't know how to process it. It freaks out jacks up your blood pressure, among other things. It's not just the blood pressure. Don't tell me you have a lot of sodium and your blood pressure is low. Don't, there's, there's many other things that go wrong, okay? You, hold, you retain a lot of water, too, when you have a, too much sodium like that. So that's, that's a bad thing, you retain too much water. Excuse me. I just had a burp. <laughs> but that's the end of this chapter. And let me know your favorite way to do iodine. If I've opened your eyes and you can say thank you in the comments, we're almost to the end of the book. You've almost got all the knowledge, which is great. 
So give us a thumbs up for that. And of course, also subscribe if you haven't already so you get notified when the next few remaining chapters are going out. And even if you uh, have already finished this book and this is your last chapter or whatever, subscribe anyway because we have tons of other content on this channel. It's, it's really cool talking about the uh, plant-based lifestyle. See you in the next chapter. Bye-bye.